When you're in prison, don't turn the other way. Reduce, reuse, recycle. So, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. This is handlebar number four. Yeah, I know. I crash well. <laughs> no, since the crash is in Lesotho, this one was always a little bit higher, so I thought, let's replace it, you know? So, we're left over with this bar. Slightly uneven, wouldn't use it again. And what are we going to do with it? Well, how about we make a chin up bar? Yeah, why not do something for the exercise? So I went over to the friendly KTM dealer. They had these lying in the trash. Perfect. Unfortunately, the tops were missing, so I had to get, they gave me these out of plastic. I'll have to draw them through to make the bolts fit, but it should work. Two options. We're going to use plugs and a bolt. This is an M8. Or, worst case scenario, we go for the heavy duty. If it, well, <laughs> carries my backside, it should carry yours too. Right, let's get to drilling. The good thing with this idea is that if you completely balls up the alignment with the holes, as you can see, straight is like this, man, you're home. And because these are, you turn them forward, you know, to mount the handlebar different. So this one, we can just go upwards, and this one, we point downwards, and that'll make it straight again. Wonderful. Um, and no, my electric drill can't go through here, so we have to do it here. Um, I have a feeling this is going to break very quickly because there's no meat here. So, best case scenario, you are going to see a fail video very shortly. Reaming out the holes. Any of you who have got flashbacks to your childhood, please look away. There we go, easy. No problems whatsoever. Sturdy, and it looks brilliant. See, really sturdy. I haven't had anything from it just yet, it's not yet done. There's still one, two mods we must do. There we go. Why? Well, so you know where to put your hands and gives you a bit of grip and this makeshift bar pad because you have to follow the rules. Just like the prison game balls on chin, it only counts when you make contact. So when you do a chin up, touch that. If you're lazy, your forehead. If you're overexcited, your knees. Okay. And gentlemen, remember, when you do this, you have two options of placement. A, no, actually you don't have. Make sure you put this in the workshop away from prying eyes. Why? Because you can probably hear the wife or the girlfriend coming and can start doing it already, working up a sweat. So when she comes in, she sees you exercising like a freak. If you put this in an easily visible place, you're just going to get harping, stating, why did you put it up? You don't exercise, etc. So there is thought behind this. Whew. Okay, after all that, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna have a beer.